feel like your hands are falling asleep. Maybe you wake up in the morning and you feel like you have to shake it out. Well, you may be suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. I'm Dr. Peters, Omni Chiropractic, sports chiropractor in Omaha, Nebraska. I've had a run of patients over the last week. We had an esthetician, a bank teller, and a special education teacher that all presented with various degrees of carpal tunnel syndrome. What is carpal tunnel syndrome? So your carpals are your wrist bones and with carpal tunnel syndrome, as the median nerve travels through your wrist, it gets pressure, compressed, or irritated most commonly at the wrist. That's why it's called carpal tunnel syndrome. So within this area, people that do repetitive movement tasks, such as the esthetician or the bank teller, or even the teacher, that nerve becomes irritated. Or when we sleep, we are in that fetal position, we put a little bit of pressure on that. I like to think of carpal tunnel syndrome like an athlete with tape around its wrist that tape is just a little too tight. So the best way to loosen that up or to take compression or pressure off the median nerve is to actually move it. If you've ever had your ankle taped before a competition, you, you can remember those first few steps. It feels way too tight. You're like, I'm never gonna be able to play in this. And then by the time you warm it up, that ankle tape is supportive in a healthy way, but not too tight. So that's what I like to think about chiropractic and physical therapy does for a carpal tunnel syndrome is we move that nerve, that median nerve through the shoulder, arm, wrist, and forearm to get it a little bit more resilient so you stop getting that numbness, tingling, that feeling like your hand is going asleep. Now there's the other route would be surgery. So that's if you just take that transverse carpal ligament and they cut it. That's what they do in a carpal tunnel release is they release the pressure. Uh, but even in those surgeries, we still want to continue to move that nerve throughout the tissues. So Omni Chiropractic's approach is we first and foremost, we have to rule out the neck. Hopefully it's not the sneaky cervical radiculopathy. It truly is. We can be confident that it is a carpal tunnel syndrome. And then what I explain to patients and what you can do at home is this band kind of represents the median nerve. So it kind of comes out your neck. And what a lot of people talk about is when they go overhead or they put that nerve under stretch, it becomes symptomatic. It makes the, the worsening of the numbness tingling or another one like we kind of talked about is called flick sign. So if you listen to somebody with carpal tunnel syndrome, a lot of times they'll say like, I'm either typing on the computer or I wake up and I feel like I have to kind of shake it out, like to kind of bring sensation back into the median nerve. Now that also kind of suggests that this is a movement problem, right? Like we can move it and it feels better. So those are the cases that are gonna respond a little bit more favorably to what we have to offer here. So if you take this test, if you kind of put your hand like this, and then you're gonna take your elbow and straighten it and keep your wrist back. So this is a median nerve tension test. If you have carpal tunnel syndrome, you might feel that numbness or tingling come on. If you don't, then you can actually bend your head away and that puts even more stress on the median nerve, okay? That's called a tensioner. So if you look at this visually, that keeps pressure on and then it pulls it a little bit more. So the exercise that you can do is you go like this, you stress that nerve till you feel symptoms, and then if you bend your head towards, you slack it so you can go a little bit further, and then you go back the other way. So what this is doing is it's moving that nerve through the tissues, making it more resilient. That's like loosening up that really stiff ankle tape job that the athletic trainer put on. It's moving that tape at the wrist to try to loosen it up, take pressure off of it. So you might feel a little symptoms when you do your exercise, but after you stop doing it, it should resolve very, very quickly. You can go back to doing what you're doing. So a lot of times with these patients, I'm having them do this nerve floss throughout the day to loosen up that area at the wrist and get that median nerve kind of sliding and gliding through the tissues without being symptomatic. And a lot of times these respond really well to conservative measures and we never have to get into injections or the carpal tunnel release. So hopefully that's helpful. Some of the risk factors for this would be like repetitive use jobs
jobs like I talked about, the esthetician, the bank teller, the teacher. Um, pregnancy, a lot of times people that are pregnant, you start to retain fluid a little bit more. It can increase the pressure in that area. So a lot of people that um, are later in their pregnancy will kind of get some like carpal tunnel-like syndromes. They kind of get rid of that fluid after they have the baby and it's never a problem. Um, so those are risk factors. Obesity is one. Um, from a personal note, uh, my mom actually had a carpal tunnel release scheduled um, and then kind of COVID happened. She ended up making some really awesome health changes, lost a bunch of weight, and her carpal tunnel syndrome just went away without any additional treatment. So those are kind of the, some of the things conservatively that you can do if you're a little bit overweight, kind of get active, do some of the exercise. Um, and these are things that don't require drugs, surgeries, or injections. So if you have any questions about carpal tunnel, how to test for it to make sure it is carpal tunnel syndrome and not something else, we are here to help you with that. Omni Chiropractic providing solutions to pain and performance.